So the Insurgent trailer just hit us full force. Hello, my name is Gabriel and today I'm going to be talking about the official Insurgent trailer. So today, the 12th of December of the year 2014, the Insurgent trailer was released and I just watched the trailer and I have some things I really would like to say. Before you go into this video, this will spoil whoever has not Insurgent or Divergent. That is my spoiler warning. If you don't want to be spoiled for either of those books, then please leave. So from the first few seconds of the trailer, we know that Insurgent is going to be a tad different from the book and I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Obviously the movie hasn't come out and I'm not sure how they're going to adapt into the big screen. Like I said, from the trailer, particularly the first few seconds, there is a different plot. We see this box that apparently Divergents have to open and Janine is looking specifically for Triss. That is not in the book. I have mentioned that Insurgent was the most confusing book out of the three for me. I have read it twice, but I'm still a little hazy on what went on in the book, but I am pretty sure there was no box that had to be opened by Divergent. Although I am a little nervous and scared at how they're going to adapt, I'm also very excited to see what they're going to do to the book in the movie. But the trailer overall is not something I adore. I think it's a well-made trailer. I think it shows the potential the movie gets, the message of the book gets across to the viewers of the trailer and consequently the movie. Like I just said, the movie is going to be a little different, but I love how they kept that Janine wants to annihilate all of the divergents, you know, that she specifically says, I want them all captured. It's brutal and it's what went on in the book. I remember that part. We see Caleb talking to Triss about this box. Apparently he knows and something I distinctly remember from the movie is Caleb betraying Triss. Again, I'm not sure how they're going to put this on the big screen, if they're going to put it on the big screen. I hope they do. It's the only thing that made the end of Allegiant okay for me. The, the How she kind of reconciled with her brother by doing what she did. I really hope they keep that in the movie. I really like the sound and the music in the trailer. It's so dramatic and it really gets you pumping for the movie. I love it when trailers are done with dramatic music and that special effect that just ignites your heart to go to the theaters and actually see the movie. The first half of the trailer, I feel like it's so confusing. It's sort of like the book where so much is going on. They really shouldn't have done that because other people that are not familiar with the trilogy will be confused watching the trailer and that's just not a smart campaign move. The trailer should get you excited for the movie, not turned off. And when you see so many scenes and so many new faces, I think that you get confused. I have this feeling that newcomers to Insurgent might not want to see the movie as much if the trailer was made better. Another thing I've mentioned various times on my channel is that I really don't like unnecessary violence. And obviously in Insurgent there are a lot of fight scenes with guns. It really clearly shows in the trailer those scenes and I don't really know how I feel about them because I know they happen in the book but actually seeing them on a big screen is a whole different experience. On the bright side they stay true to the book on that aspect so I really can't complain. What is the deal with adding Triss's mom because we know that she has passed away but she is in this trailer and not only is she in what we got from the teaser trailer with the house burning down but she is actually talking to Triss and I'm really confused at this because I'm not sure if she's alive or not but in the book she isn't so if she's in the movie how did, exactly did they do that? I'm pretty sure she's dead. Probably a dream or a vision or even a simulation. If Triss's mom is alive I really think they should not have done that at all. Trish's mom dying was something that really built her character and I think that's something that should have stayed true to the book and hopefully is. Towards the end of the trailer things really heat up. I was really surprised when Janine said you're gonna fight you and that was really whoa I clearly don't remember that being in the book. I love how she breaks the glass after this trial thing Janine is putting her through. Janine is just standing there so I'm guessing there's a fight scene between Triss and Janine, again, I don't remember if this happened in the book. I clearly remember it happening in Divergent. They did that well on the big screen. 
let's see how this goes. So overall, this trailer isn't anything over the top amazing. I actually think it's a little bit lacking. It's weird because I really, really liked the teaser trailer for Insurgent and I just, I didn't feel the official trailer. I'm not sure other fans reaction because this literally just dropped. I have not been on Tumblr or Twitter to see other people's reaction, but just this out of a hundred, probably like a 45. It's just like I've mentioned, it's a little confusing. Too much is going on in this trailer. I think they should have kept it simpler and just stick to one part of the plot because the insurgent has so much plot going on. But I guess they decided to do it this way because the movie is also going to have a lot of things happening at the same time. So yes, that was my discussion about this trailer. What did you think of the trailer? Did you like it or didn't you like it? How excited are you for Insurgent? Please comment down below. See you next time for more videos. Goodbye. Now, having said all this and really loving this trailer, I have to ask, what exactly is it? Hello, my name is Gabriel and today I'm going to be talking about the... And today I'm going to be talking about the Insurgent official trailer.